OK, welcome back. Third quarter, vital third quarter about the start. Uh, the game between Thompson and Anarchy. Thompson facing a pretty big uphill task to get themselves back into this game. They need a big lift from a few players uh, around the ground, I'd suggest. I'd Shane. suggest uh, about 98.5% of them uh, could lift the uh, cookie. And they'll need to in this quarter if they're going to be any sort of chance at all. Well, it's pretty hot out there. Magnificent day here at the Godfrey Street Oval <coughs> as we wait to... This quarter brought to you by the Geelong Football Umpires League. Speaking of which, Senior Sergeant Phil Dow has just pulled up in front of us. <laughs> OK, well, well, we better be not critical of the umpires with Phil here as an observer, I'd suggest. Up goes Big Walsh in the centre, doing the ruck work. The Mopples is in the ruck too there, I can tell you. The ball comes out. Here's a chance, running out of the pack here Bath. by Bath. Away goes on right foot towards centre, half forward. Up comes uh, Jeff Totten, drops one he likes to take. it. got the hand pass away, though. That looks like Flynn out there. No, Mickey Gibbons it is. Left foot kick from Gibbons goes round towards centre wing position. Grandstand side of the ground. On the full, too much carry on the footy on that occasion. And a free kick going to result here to a Thompson player, and I've lost me binoculars, here they are. Mickey Gann has it again on centre wing, he's looking for, he goes short in the, Dean Lehman, Lehman just stands and not sure what to do, there's no, well, sick of saying it, but anyway, there's no movement up here again, he's just holding the ball, he kicks up forward, in the direction of Nan Curvis, Nan Curvis gets the ball thumped away from him, and it goes out of bounds after the lunchbox spills what he probably should have taken. It's out of bounds in the forward pocket, Thompson in, Kicking probably with a favour of a slight breeze, but Welsh does battle with Collins. Welsh wins out again to nobody in particular. This ball goes to ground. Welsh has got it himself. He's been paid a free kick for a trip in the forward pocket, and big Paul Welsh will get touch number 95 for the day. Well, he's no doubt he's been the dominant player on the ground, also got off the ground there, took a magnificent mark in the second quarter just after the duck flew past here. <laughs> and a big Welshie down there in defence. Oh, lovely kick too, well out over half back. Oh, going back with the flight of the footy. Good mark here to Anarchy, taken by, I like this player too, Scott, Scott Simon. Simon. He's been very handy, drifting up and down that ground on that far side. Takes the mark, kicks the ball up towards half forward. Another mark out here in front that looks like Jolly, is it? Taking the ball at half forward. Spears the kick, oh, an awful looking kick, bouncing down towards Corey Bissett. Wasn't particularly good. It was intended for Bissett. He dives in on top, but the players come in on top of him. Menzies, Sir Roberts down there working hard for his side, and he's affected a ball up about 35 minutes out from the goal of which Anarchy are attacking third quarter. Brought to us by the Geelong Football Umpires League. Yeah, ball goes up and Scott Simon's down there again. Rose his own ruck work. Gives a handball off the ball. Bounces in the way of Beggs, and I think he's put it through for one point. So one point in the scoreboard to Anarchy. Takes it total onto a 11-5, 71 to Thompson, three straight, 18. Mickey Carter it was. Mickey just, Carter, yeah, was it? Yeah, a loot of bigs there. Went through to uh, Mick Carter. Had a flying shot, but just offline on that occasion. And, uh, well, waiting on big Sir Robert Menzies to put the ball back into play. Certainly been one of the better players for Thompson. Haven't had too many good ones today, but he's one of, one of their better ones. Done a fair job on Corey Bissett since he went back there. He punt kicks out. Oh, players high. Simon was up high. Couldn't take the mark. Hand pass by Bully was ineffective. Goes back and after they stack in on top of there. About 28 players are going to pass. Oh, the umpire's found a free kick here. Where did he get that from, Phil? Well, I don't know. He's found the free kick. It's going to go to Mark Bradford. Waiting on Bradford to take this kick. We don't see what that one was for. Might have been pushed in the back, I guess. Over the back it is. Menzies out in front, but taken away by Bath. Bath kicks a short one, and they're going to get out of this through Gann as it takes the mark and plays on immediately out of half back. Now, isn't that a stupid kick to three on to one? But Welsh takes a not pay to mark. Collins comes through. Mick Carter ducks in front in front of Mick, Big Dave Collins. Gets around, gives a handball off. Whoa! Uh, oh, he's Mick paid one too high. Mickey Carter. Mick uh, Carter and Dave Collins. Not particularly good friends at this stage. They won't be going to each other's place for tea this week, I'd suggest. Carter's got the free kick. He cup the first one. Kicks it out to Stephen Green, who marks it to half back. Loves a run, does Green. Runs through centre half back. Runs through the centre. The kick's a shocker. He's kicking straight to Bath, and Bath takes the mark. There's Lindsay Bath short of centre half back for. Thompson. He finds Gann on the half-back line. Mick Gann's under a bit of pressure. He volleys a big handball over to Lindsay Bath. Puts him under all sorts of pressure. Bath gets a scrambly kick off. He finds Nathan Armstrong. Nathan Armstrong goes forward and we're back all flies and misses. Overrun by Anarchy. Gardner throws it over the top of his head. Finds little lunchbox Gardner. He's there knocking it out. Ball in a pack and the bump. I should bounce down, but it's shot out to Sticks Gann. Gann kicks it straight to Jeff Totten, standing by himself. Couldn't have been any better that pass. Totten clears out to Jamie Elmer. He's, He's been flat put down after, after he kicks kick. it. No doubt about that one. Run by Phil Dow, nodding in agreement with that one. Can see him down in front of us and the free kick coming down the ground. 
And it's taken there by Elmer. Kicks it around the boundary line, which is awkward for us because we can't see who's got it's it. It's found Steve uh, Green. Stephen Green it is. We can got him on screen now. He takes the mark. The umpire's calling the ball back. I think you'll find. Stephen Green, a bit disappointed, has to give it back to Elmer, who now has to run back 25 metres and uh, take the kick once again. Yeah, well, it should be a one-on-one -on -one contest. Scott Simons leads to the centre. He runs, un runs Nathan Armstrong underneath it and ducks back and takes quite a good mark. And he's been he's a lively player too, Scotty Simon. He away he too. goes on left foot. Nice-looking kick down. Good Long mark kick. by Jolly. Well, up goes Jolly. Takes one in the pack. Plays on. Bounces once. And bounces twice. Jolly goes back on the right foot. He's kicked it right across the face. A goal! One point only on the board. I think he might have snuck on a point in. One of the goal umpires' decision. Yep. One point only after looking like it was going to be a sensation. Station Almost like there. Gabalik there, the way he moved. Just about. Around the boundary line, but couldn't kick the ball straight enough. Brendan Jolly registers his second behind of the day on the Geelong Football Umpires League scoreboard. Menzies looking for someone up forward. He'll probably go straight up the ground or come slightly aside to where Demopolis leads. Demopolis and Scott Simon lead. Nathan Armstrong pushes Simons off the ball. Picked up by Phil Gavin. He gives it off to Mick Carter. Back to Scott Simon. He bangs it forward. Where Menzies and Corey Bissett out. Oh, lovely him mark, Bissett. Takes a good, strong mark. Look, he's done very well back there, has Sir Robert Menzies on Corey Bissett. And in fact, I don't think Corey's kicked a goal since Sir Robert went back on him. But uh, lovely use of the body that time. Just a little bit stronger in that one-on-one -on -one class. Used the hip to great effect. Taken the mark. And... Uh, Fairly too, I might add, and he's going to come in. He's firing for, I think, his sixth goal. Yep. He comes Bissett. He's usually a beautiful kick. This is no exception. Magnificent kick off the boot. Corey Bissett kicks his sixth, and Anarchy, the ruse, go further ahead. Yeah, good, good use of the body there by big Corey Bissett. Just uh, shoved Glenn Menzies out with his backside and took a fair and good mark. There he is on screen there, the big fella Corey. He, uh, of course, uh, a few years ago, won the goal kicking in the GDFL and also, I think, played in the uh, Premiership side, did he not, for Anarchy? I'm very sure that was the case. Yeah, very much to do with it that year. He's been back in Melbourne playing footy, but he's back down here now with Anarchy. He's, uh, of course, his brother Daryl having a fair bit to do with getting him back. And, uh, well, they're looking the goods at this stage of the game. Anarchy doesn't look to be any doubt at all. The, no. win the winning margin, the only guessing point is the umpire. Looks like Johnny Tatnell bounces down in the centre. No, Santa Spiriotio, that was. The mop was knocked much. it out. The ball comes through to Anarchy player. He kicks up to Mick Carter. He get no, 45. Yeah, that's that's uh, the little fella Mark Gavin's on the ground. He got it down the ground. Phil's kicked it down to the forward line. Bissett's got it again. Bissett a goal. He's played on immediately after he took that. And another goal. The Gavin boys combining there. We were thrown by the, the little fella Mark Gavin coming onto the ground. Got it to Phil. Down it went to Corey Bissett. And bang, bang, bang. Another one on the board. Yeah, good play by young Mark Gavin. I didn't notice he's not in, not listed in the record, and uh, that's why I didn't know who it was. But it was beautifully picked up and the handball given off. And another goal to Corey Bisser. That takes his tally to seven. Anarchy's to 12, possibly even 13. Here's the Geelong Football Umpires League scoreboard coming up. Three goals straight on the board remaining are Thompson, whilst we see 13 goals, five. Just can't see the kids down in front there. That's 83. 83 points. Thank you very much, Shane. And back to the centre they come. Here's the other best. Darrell's got it out of the centre. Bangs a long one down a half forward. Oh, getting back with the flight of the ball was that little fella almost took the mark on that occasion. Stacking on top. That was little Gavin again. Almost took the mark. Just couldn't quite hang on to it as the ball went to turf. And... Uh, Stacking in on top of him is the 21 Guernsey of David Burke for Thompson, and he's affected a ball up at the well half forward flank. It's knocked out wide, and Thompson will get away with this with a little oh, kick, I think. Yes. Yeah, it's then Curvis kicks it forward, but it only finds Collins where he drops to the ground. Jamie Elmer picks up, handballs Mick Carter, shoots a handball out to Daryl Bissett. He's under a bit of pressure. He fights off a few defenders there, knocks on to Phil Gavin. He thought it was a pretty close to a throw. Gives it to Mick Carter who finds number uh, 51, Daryl Hecker, there in the middle. He misses what he probably could have taken. 33 picks up. That's Jason Flynn, but he's tackled fiercely by Dean Cale. Darren Loom, Dean Loom picks it up. Mickey Gann put in the shorties there and uh, knocked it to his advantage, though, and he's still in control, Mick. It was pretty good effort. In the back for mine. In the back for mine. Not seen that way. I thought Mickey Gann earned the free kick on that occasion. Little fella Phil Gavin gets up and hands the ball back. 
bounce down. Just the attacking side of Center Wing Thompson. Slightly in attack here, but it comes out to this play. It's been very good today. Scotty Simon swings on that favoured left foot, goes up towards half forward. Ball bouncing free. Jamie Elmer's been in everything. Hand passes towards Big Welshie. Puts the head down, oh, charges at the footy, charges at a hard two. Umpire said, you ducked the head, Welshie, and it's about the first thing wrong you've done all day, and the free kick goes to Nathan Armstrong of Thompson. He, he kicked, kicked it straight into the man of the mark, Big Welshie. Yeah. He goes over and again the big foot, he won't lie down. They stack it on top, but well played, Welshie. You've affected a ball up at the centre of the ground position. What a great effort from the old fella. Yeah, tremendous effort. Didn't give up on any occasion tremendous there. Effort, Welshie. Pretty ordinary kick by young Nathan. You just have to go back and kick it, but no, nah, straight into the man of the mark. The umpire bounces down. It goes no one. Scott Simon falls over, but no pressure. Just gets away and kicks it forward. Goes into no man's land, but Peter Hall gathers and make, takes a good mark. He's got Dean Carlo on the far side of the ground, but no. He's going to go short here to David Burke. Burke picks up. He gets around one. Has a bounce. Going through centre wing, he's going slow motion. He bangs it up forward and kicks it up the Nankervis area. He takes just about a specky, but doesn't even get his hands on it. Totten knocks it forward. Denchy follows through. Picked up by... Gibbons. Gibbons. Paddles the ball out wide. Does Gibbons the woods, the boundary lane. In comes Backwell. Affects the boundary throw in deep in the forward pocket. And uh, Thompson moved the ball reasonably quickly there from half back down the ground before the boundary umpire ruled that it had, in fact, gone out of play. Now, it might have come off the boot there of Jamie Backwell. Would have been unlucky if it did, and it was unlucky. And the free kick goes, it might be Gibbons, is it? Little kick comes out wide. Mark taken. Broadfoot comes away with it. Goes down towards half-back flank. Out comes Elmer. He was the target. Gathers. Oh, gets around a player in uh, too oh, easy there. Space. Yeah, yeah, away they go. Gives it across Stevie the green. Three. Picks up. Has a handball. Has a bounce. Has whatever you like. Goes down towards half-forward. Mark taken by Gavin. Fires away at the goal mouth. Up line. Should have stopped and gone back and had to kick some. That was Mark Gavin, who's come on in this third quarter and been pretty lively early stages, as we see on the Geelong Football Empire's League scoreboard. Thompson have remained on three goals straight, and Anarchy going further ahead. Menzies found Demopoulos in the back pocket. Demopoulos gives it back to Menzies, comes out of the back line, looking for Nan Curvis. Nan Curvis tries to mark, spoiled by Elmer, put under pressure by Gavin. He gets a, doesn't get around, gets a handball, but there's no talk there. Lindsay Bath and... Mickey Gann, both shepherd each other. Steve Green gathers in the crumbs, kicks it short to Mark Gavin, who slips over there in that slippery gust. Petrovic runs over over the ball. There's Gavin in there again. Jolly dives on top of it, and the umpire will come in and bounce it down. Yeah, bad luck there for little Gavin. The kick was all right, but he just lost the footing. Twice he's done that. And, uh, yeah, just lost the footing at the wrong time. Second time for the quarter, he's done it, and uh, it's going to be a bounce down. Daryl Bissett doing the ruck work on this occasion. Over the top, the big knock was... Uh, from Backwell, I think, might have got it away there to the player coming down the ground in Bath. Bath goes to centre wing, pick up by Nathan Armstrong. Pretty ordinary kick up and under. Blocks a fortune here. Oh, player dropped one he should have taken there for uh, for Thompson. He's going to get out of this anarchy with a hand pass across in the direction there of uh, Scotty Simon. He gives it across to Flynn. Flynn gives it back to a teammate down the ground. We're in the oh, 20, Guernsey. And the Go. kick around the corner from Gogol has been marked in the pocket. No, it wasn't marked. Dropped at the last stage there. Play on us the call. Chance here now for David Burt to clear the footy. He's tackled, loses it. Play pretty rough down there. It's about centre half forward at the present time for the Anarchy Footy Club. And a free kick, uh, Elmer goes back, and, and this isn't for Elmer, this is for Thompson. Player, who's that one? Uh, Dave uh, Collins reward the free kick. Well done by yep. John and Mop, knocks it on in the favour of Nankervis. He's got space. Got the fumbles today, he Terry. Got he should have a bounce and goal, but he decides to go to the lead of Bliss. Bliss drops an easy sitter. Tries to gather it in. The ball eludes him. The ball's come out to Matt Gardner. He eludes him. Steve Green picks it up. He slips over those sand shoes on. He gives it off and gets it back. Gibbons picks, gives it off to Broadford. Broadford gets around two Thompson blokes. Finds Phil Gavin here on centre wing. He puts on the pressure. Oh, lovely tackle. Well by Lindsay Bath. And the tackle. umpire has rewarded him with a free kick. And so he should. That was a magnificent tackle. And Bath who has been a trier all day. We'll give him that. He kicks across. Oh, well, she tried to repeat his second quarter. Specky forgot the footy on that occasion. He's going to get the hand pass back. Oh, drop that one. Tapped it in front of him. Good play by the big fella. Yeah, it comes back. Oh, Anarchy. it's on in the middle. They're Welsh doing... and Demopoulos. Welsh no. and Demopoulos not happy as broad, but kicks the ball down to Wood centre half forward. And a mark taken here. Is that Gavin taking the mark? We'll just get him on screen. Yep. I was watching the blue. OK, little kick from Gavin. Out comes Corey Bissett. That's a good lead. And the pass is a beauty. Hit him right on the chest. And uh, Welsh and Demopoulos still talking about who's the bigger man, I think. 
I think Moffat's just trying to break it up. Welsh was trying to get a piece of Dave Collins there, I think. All right, OK, I'll stick with you. But the mark taken here by Corey Bissett. Now the finger's pointing. <laughs> there, Bissett having a shot from 40 out I've directly in, in front. I've got him down for seven. I think that'll find that's eight. Is that eight goals? Count them up for me, all right? I need to know the tally. I, I make it eight. Yeah, I got eight goals as well there for Corey Bissett. And it's not three-quarter time yet. He's back in town. And Anarchy is certainly storming back into form. Well, a bit of rough stuff in the centre there. Yeah. Anything in it, Shane? Uh, a bit of push and shove. I dare say had well she landed. He mightn't have got up, Dave Collins. But <laughs> that's another story. You wouldn't like to be on the end of one. It's pretty hard out in the middle too, though. <laughs> I went and walked across there at half time and it's pretty hard. Geelong Football Umpires League scoreboard shows that uh, Thompson have got three goals straight, 18 points on the board. Anarchy will get this score. It's 14-something, 91. And they come out of the centre again down towards half four, but uh, Mark taken. No, Mark wasn't paid to Darrell Early. He kicks back to the centre where Demopolis flies with Scott Stevens, uh, Scott Simon. He finds Matt Gardner out there by himself. Matt runs onto the ball, puts it on his preferred left, kicks it up towards Backwell. But there comes Gibbons. No, Costello and takes a good chess mark in the last line. He kicks a cost goal to Gogol. Gogol falls to his knees to have to take the mark. He steadies the play. He's played well, Gogol. Yeah, he's been solid in defence. He's got two in the middle there. Scott Simon and... Mark Bradford, but it's too late now. They're, he's, oh, Bradford's still lot by himself, and he's going to get it here, uncontested, I would say. Up it goes, and Bradford almost took the mark, pulled off the footy. He'll take the free kick. Would have played the the, uh, the mark anyway, I think, had he not been pulled off it. Uh, Steve Green wanted to get away with it. Umpire not allowing it. He's paid. He might have, might have paid the mark on that occasion, if that's the case. Now, across the ground, he goes to the run of Phil Gavin, who's been very lively. He chips it over the top. He's looking for Jeffrey Totten, who takes mark on centre wing. Plays on immediately with a hand pass to the running Elmer. Elmer barrels one in towards half forward. Coming out, Menzies. Also with him there is Bisson. It eludes both players. Back to the boundary line they head, and uh, uh, Jason Flynn there seeing the ball safely over the boundary line. Corey Bissett saying well play, but I just couldn't get my hands on it. And the umpire's going to throw this one in very close to the post down there in Anarchy's attacking zone. Menzies does battle with Darrell Bissett. He gets the ball to Darrell Allen who kicks it out of defence in the direction of Collins. Collins stays down. Lehman flies. They get the ball out to Flynn. Flynn short passes into Steve Green who handballs over the top to... Turner, here's Turn, Turner, Tanner. right foot kick, it was uh, smothered off the boot that time, well done too by the player there in, uh, was that number 20 I think, Dean Kale, pack of players out wide, Bissett's kicked it off the ground, the whistle's gone before he's done so, and the umpire's plucked a free kick out of this, going to go the way of the Thompson Tigers. David Burke has the ball in Anarchy's back pocket. Looking up forward for a lead, but uh, there's not much going on. He kicks it over here to Lehman. Dean Lehman flies from behind and outmarked by Broadford, is it? Looks like Broadford to me. Yeah, come into the place. It's quarter time. Yeah, Broadford kicks. kicks the ball into the forward pocket. Stephen Green's giving him the lead there. Look, he's led towards the boundary line. Don't know about the strength of that one. He's going to be on a fairly acute angle. Green has taken the mark, no doubt. And uh, he's going to come in and fire for goal. We'll have a good shot of this on the screen. Here he comes. Stephen Green kicks it. It's swinging. Oh, magnificent kick off the boot. Yes, it's a goal. Great goal, Stephen Green. Yeah. Been a very good player today, too. He's uh, playing on the bike pants, but he's had plenty of the ball in each quarter that he's contested and uh, been one of the anarchy superstars of the day. They've gone now. We're just waiting on the scoreboard to catch up. It's 15 goals, 7. That'll be 97 points on the board on the Geelong Football Umpires League scoreboard. Leading Thompson, 3 goals, a straight 18 points. Yes, yeah, easy goal to Anarchy again. 18 but, uh, plays, 97. There's the board. Wichelsea Hotel actually uh, got their name up there, but the Geelong Football Umpires League are bringing us this third battle, third quarter. Bounce down the centre. Demopolis goes up uncontested. He knocks it straight to Steve Simon, but Mick Gans runs through the centre, misses the ball. Picked up by Simon again. He gets a fumbly handball out and gets to Lindsay Bath, who gets a piddly little kick to nowhere in particular. Brawford fires it out to centre wing where Scott Simon will run onto it. He gets around. No, he doesn't get around one. Good tackle there by Dean Cale. Picked up by Lehman. Lehman goes forward and Broadford nearly intercepts. Probably dropped what he should have taken. Comes back to Gogol. Gogol kicks it off the ground and runs out of bounds in the front of the Thompson coach's box. The veterans have done well for it. Haven't they? Gogol and Totten across that half-back line. They've been, been attacking players day. down there too. They've been able to back their judgment. And they've certainly run well at the same time as being good defenders. And that's the art of a good half-back. As we see the ball kicked off the boot. Is that out on the full? Yep. I think it is. Yeah, unfortunately there. Anarchy giving away. Uh, sorry, Thompson giving away the free kick. And the free kick going to go the way. Oh, I think Costello's waiting for this one to come back to him. 
Yep. He's got it now, the big fella, and he's certainly yet quite a strong player in defence also. Costello. Outside the defensive 50, you can, see why, he put, you can see, why, see why he plays in defence. An inside-out torpedo. How's that for a call? He got it towards centre wing. He spills out of the pack here. Here's a chance that Nankervis it. No, it was not Nankervis. It was Kale having a bit of a fresh air shot. Got it a few metres. That's about all. Boundary line. Comedy of errors there from the moment the ball was kicked back into play. And the boundary umpire says, I'll see if I can improve on the status here. And I'll throw it in on the far side of the ground. He does so. Demopolis does battle with Welsh. Probably pushed well in the back, the ball comes to Steve Green he fires a handball to Costello he runs through, one, two, three Thompson opponents, barrels one up to centre half forward, with Petrovic and Jolly who takes a good strong mark against the opposition he's got, here's Mr Jolly the Electrolux man's got it, centre half forward wants to play on around the man of the mark, he does so he has to kick on his non-preferred left foot oh, a slips catch to Corey Miss it wasn't taken on the ankles, he toe pokes it it goes out wide, hand pass lands in the arms of uh, Turner who's on the ground little kick around the pa off the hands of the player in front of him, says the umpire there, right on the scene the boundary umpire good on you son, you're right on the ball there and uh, was touched over the line, we'll have a boundary throw in Oh, sorry, Kerr, I was just reading umpire Phil uh, Dow's notes on two umpires. OK, uh, boundary well, throw. While you're reading, I'll keep going. Up they go. The ball not to the ground there by uh, Burke. Not a particularly good one because they've got it out here again. Anarchy, little kick across the face of the pack. Here's a chance for Green to run on the foot. He's got plenty of pace. He likes to use it. He paddles it away cleverly from Nan Curvis. Gives the hand pass back to Gavin, who turns, spins, punt, kicks for goal. Off the line, one point only on the board. Upsetting there, very accurate. Kicking today, Anarchy. And uh, Phil Gavin, personal tally for the day, one goal, two. He's been one of the major defenders, in the major offenders in the point kicking brigade. He's kicked two and so two, Brendan Jolly. One point only there going on the Geelong Football Umpires League scoreboard to Anarchy. Menzies at full back. Kicks to the members' side of the ground for Darrell Allen. He goes up against Bissett. Bissett's son got in his eyes. Good tackle on Nathan Armstrong on Scott Simon. Petrovic takes off, go, kicks through the centre where Dench overruns it. In goes Bradford. He picks up and looks for someone loose and he's found in Jamie Elmer out here on, se on centre wing. Tottenham good, runs good by, play, doesn't Bradford. take the option. He plays on. Kicks forward in the direction of Gavin. The umpire's plucked yep. one out here and found a free kick to go to David Burke at centre, in between centre half and full back. Holding free kicking signified there. Held without the footy when the ball was nowhere near him. You ready for that marking contest? He's taking his time about this. He's got no one to kick it to. Have a look at our blokes. Fair dinkum. No one leading much at all. Someone's dropped in to take a short one here. And the mark Allen. has been taken by Daryl Allen at half back. He swings playing to the centre of the ground. Terry Nan Curvis is up. Hasn't taken many marks today. Couldn't hold that one either. Knocked away by Simon. He went back in and got it. Lost it in the tackle. Here's Costello. the chance. Of the, who's this fella? Costello. Is it coming yeah. out of the pack? He's down down the ground a bit from his back pocket position. He kicks the ball up towards the uh, or half forward flank and chipping in, taking the nice mark here for Thompson. We find Dean Lehman. He kicks to Dench. Dench drops the sitter. He gives the handball off to Hawley. Hawley's been put under pressure by Jamie Elmer. Well done by Elmer. Pe butted up by Gogol. Gogol fumbling. He's still got it in control. Good shepherd by Mick Carter. Dench he jumps in. The umpire should ball. No, he's got it out to Mick Carter. To Phil Gavin. Gavin on the right foot. Kicks forward in the direction of Burke and Petrovic. Petrovic. Sport one another, in fact, yeah. on that occasion. A bit rattled down there, not sure who should mark and who should punch. There's only two of them going for the mark, the Thompson boys, and the Sport one another got it over the worst of the battery line. I guess that's safety for the moment. But perhaps Sean, one of those with a bit of talking may well have taken the mark. Boundary umpire throws it back into play. The big fella of the put the put hands in the back, took it out of the air, got a kick. Only went about 20 yards. Gavin caught one in the bread basket that he would have done, what, liked to have done without at this stage, I think, on a hot day. And uh, he's going to receive the free kick. And uh, Is there what? such a free kick? Well, he was let's say he was grabbed pretty severely. <laughs> He's uh, been over there, Phil Gavin, not too good. So I brushed to sit up here and have a giggle, but uh, he's, that certainly hurt. I think I might have winded him. He got one right in the bread basket. Maybe and, a bit uh, lower. And Demopolis is <laughs> <He's> down. Uh, <laughs> Demopolis is down. The, the, he's got a sunstroke, I think. Down <laughs> it goes towards Biss at the back of the pack. Can he pick it up? Kick it up the ground. Someone down there. Someone, Someone has. has. We'll pick him up as he jolly. turns around. It's big jolly, I think. Yeah, running onto the ball. Yep. And we'll Brendan put that Jolly. one down to Brendan Jolly. We were cheering for someone to kick it off the ground. Someone did. It was very hard to pick them up. We're looking. He's right in the sun here. You can see on screen it's a magnificent day here at the, uh, the Godfrey Street Oval. And Brendan Jolly kicks another goal. Yet another goal, I might say, too, for Anarchy. 
Thompson, three goals straight on the Geelong Football Umpires League scoreboard. That's 18 points. Anarchy have now got 16 goals, eight. That's 104 on the board. So, uh, well, Thompson last week with uh, two goals for the day. So far with three. Obviously, uh, Shane, they're down a little bit at the moment and uh, really need a bit of a boost to continue on this year. Yes, yes. The way they're going, they'll have 16 goals at the end of the year. Okay, this back three next week. Here's a chance now. Kervis gathers through the centre of the ground. Tried to do too, too much, did Terry. Ran too far, held it too long, threw it backwards anyway. Any one of those free kicks could have been paid. Phil Dow's marked them all down, and a free kick going to go the way here for Anarchy of a big Paul Welsh, who was the uh, the tackler there. Had a bit of a quiet quarter this quarter, Welshy, as well he should. He set the game up in the first half magnificently, and he takes the free kick at, well, almost centre of the ground. Just defensive side thereof. Punt kick goes towards half forward. Target over the back of Jolly. Too much carry on the footy for Jolly on this occasion. Uh, no one able to gather there. Free kick going to be paid, I think. Yep. Play a hell without it there for Thompson. David Burke. David Burke. Is it just a bit hard? Squinting into the sun, picking him up, and Burke takes the free kick at centre-half back. Burke goes across the other side of the ground where Dean Lehman's sitting under one. You know, you would have hated your hospital better if it's a paid up there with a big heap running at you. The ball comes to the ground, it's kicked forward, and it's out of bounds up in centre wing for Thompson. Yeah, good call there, uh, Shane, of course. <laughs> Lehman sitting under it with uh, Daryl Bissett bearing down on him, all about 18 stone of him. You'd be uh, certainly wondering whether your HBO was up to date and wouldn't want a week overdue, would you? No. Anyway, a boundary umpire throws into Motless, does battle with Welsh. Welsh wins out, I think, gives it to boy McFlynn. Flynn kicks smothered off the boot. Mick Carter. Mick oh, Carter Mickey Carter's ready to win. Well done, Dean Lehman. He gets a handball to Dench. Dench, he goes to knock it on to Kale. Kale fumbles. He eventually picks it up. No, it's knocked out. Flynn kicks Flynn off the ground. Yeah, Kyle's still the ground battling away there. The umpire should stop it and ball it up, as he does so. Yeah, it's a bit one-sided now, and the uh, player's getting a bit tired in this hot sun, and uh, we certainly got a bit steamy in here on us. Uh, I wish Brainy was here drinking that water. He was drinking water here last week. I wouldn't mind a bottle of that at the moment. Yeah. The bounce down. Here we go. Yeah, chance here Tommy for Ditch. Dench can't quite handle on this occasion. He's beaten for, by the veteran there in uh, Gogues. Neville Gogol, who gets the hand pass out wide. Had no other intention but to gain 15 or 20 metres, put it outside the 50 zone and put it out of bounds, and he affected that with great preciseness. Knocked down to the ground, goes back towards Gogol and Dench. Gogol bumps, and Gogol actually <laughs> he ran through the little run out there and uh, goes back, retrieves the footy for the boundary umpire. He's got the ponytail on and uh, looks quite resplendent today. And the boundary umpire is going to throw pay, throw the ball back into play on the far side of the ground. That's the grandstand side. And at this stage, it's all anarchy. I keep telling you, that's a pavilion, not a grandstand. Anyway, the ball's still at the ground. The mop was fighting there with Welsh. The ball's knocked to Tommy Ritchie. He goes to kick it in mid-air and kicks it out on the full with the sunglass boundary umpire with a ponytail. He might have just accidentally caught one then. Tommy got sat on his bum, actually. He hit the ground pretty hard on the uh, on the posterior. That's not a posterior leg. On the posterior, he bounced there. And it's pretty hard, the ground. I think that one took a, a couple of shock waves up the spine. <laughs> Scott Simon clears he the like ball it from the back line. And Scotty Simon, as you say, kicks it up towards the centre wing. Chance for Stephen Green to run on it. He left it behind him, though. Picked up by Bath. He's been a try. Tumbles the ball back towards half forward. Out they come. Costello's a chance. Went without it. Looked more like Abbott on that occasion. Goes towards Mick again. He can't pick it up either. Get out of his They're way. all battling down there. In chips uh, the player there in Dench. He's still at the bottom of the pack trying to fathom it out there. Chance here for Anarchy through Gibbons. They slap it out wide. Coming onto the football is Broadfoot. Can he get away? He tries to duck under a tackle. He's claimed. Puts the ball on the ground. They're stacking on top. And there's about 40 players. Now the umpire's blowing the whistle just as an Anarchy player there. And Scott Simon was about to break away. And I haven't seen him before. He's been an impressive player, Scott Simon. I think he went to North Shore for a couple of years. He did play a lot of junior footy out there and is very good as a youngster in their senior ranks. The ball's bounced down. Demott was got a knock in the direction of Gam, but in comes... Sorry, Phil Dow is telling us who he is. Kevin Green kicks it forward. Dean Carl intercepts in the mid-centre. He's got nowhere to go. He goes short and finds Gann. Gann's probably Thompson's best player today, I'd say. He's got the ball on centre wing. He's looking for someone up forward, but once again, it's just no leads. Matt Magnificent Gardner. kick from Gann, though, at the back of the pack. Got Dropping a player the take the mark there. No mark paid. Kick it off the ground down there in defence. It spills out wide. Here's a chance. 
for the little fella there in 21 to pick it up in the agency there of David Burke. He can't do so, though. They haven't claimed the ball on first occasion, on too many occasions today, Thompson. They've had the ball there, but just can't pick it up. They've fumbled too much. Yeah, lack of training by some of them. They just forget where to come on Tuesday and Thursday. Right, here's the kick out the woods. Elmer out, but uh, up he goes. Doesn't try to mark. Knocks it over the top on this occasion down towards Neil Turner. He's in trouble. The uh, umpire can of come in. He's going to ball this one up. I think you'll find... Defensive side of centre wing, midway between centre wing and half back with uh, Thompson in attack at the present time. Slightly in attack, a half forward line. Demott wants to do battle with Welsh. Welsh uses his body, the ball, no one won a decisive knock yet. Simon picks up, kicks it back towards the centre. Lindsay Bass under it, he won't get out of the way. He drops what he probably should have taken though, and the ball's wrestled between Lindsay Bath and Neil Turner. And once again, we'll have a bounce down at centre wing. Okay, we've gone about 22 and a half minutes on the Rockies 24 hour locksmith time clock in this third quarter. Anarchy. We've gone more than 22 and a half. Oh, sorry, five minutes out there. 27 and a half. Short quarter on that occasion. Thank you very much for pulling me up there. At a three-quarter time, we'll get, just get the scoreboard in a view here. It's three goals straight on the board to Thompson. Failed a score in that quarter. Anarchy have gone along. If we can pick up the scoreboard, looks like 16 goals, eight. That'll be about uh, 104, I'd suggest, is it? Or 110? 104. Eight. I got it right the first time. 16 8 104. Anarchy Thompson, three goals straight, 18 points only. That quarter, Thompson, as I said, didn't score. Anarchy were able to rattle on five goals for. It's, uh, well, it's hot. It is players hot. are tired. Temper's a little bit frayed on occasions. Let's let the players have a, a lemon, an orange at three quarter time. We might have a glass of that water the brainy drinks so often. And we'll be back with the fourth quarter, the final one in the game, very shortly.